Hello and welcome to Career Compass, where we explore everything related to jobs and careers. In today's episode, we will explore the exciting, but sometimes challenging, world of job searching. I'm your host, Emily Harper, and today's episode is all about preparing for your job search. Before we even talk about job listings, resumes, or interviews, we need to talk about you. To help us unpack this essential first step, I'm thrilled to introduce our special guest today, Dr. Michael Stevens. Dr. Stevens is a seasoned career coach with over 15 years of experience. Welcome to the show, Michael. Thank you, Emily. It's great to be here and help your listeners prepare for their job searches. Michael, why is understanding what you have to offer so crucial at the very beginning of a job search? Absolutely, Emily. Self-awareness is the cornerstone of a successful job search. When you understand your strengths and skills, you can better align them with the right opportunities and present yourself more confidently to potential employers. That makes a lot of sense. Can you explain the difference between hard skills and soft skills and how job seekers can effectively showcase them on their resumes? Certainly. Hard skills are technical abilities like computer programming, data analysis, or speaking another language. These are often learned through training, education, or specific experiences. Soft skills, on the other hand, involve interpersonal abilities such as communication, teamwork, leadership, and time management. These skills are crucial in almost any job. Great insights. For our listeners, take a few minutes to reflect on your past experiences whether from jobs, internships, volunteer work, or personal projects. What skills have you gained? Are you a great communicator, a problem solver? Do you have technical skills, or perhaps you're a natural leader? Jotting down these skills can help you create a comprehensive list that highlights your qualifications. This self-assessment not only aids in resume writing, but also boosts your confidence during interviews. Once you've identified your skills, the next step is figuring out where they fit best. Michael, how can job seekers assess if a company is the right fit for them? Researching potential employers is key to finding a good match. Start by exploring their websites to understand their mission, values, and work environment. Platforms like Glassdoor are invaluable for gaining insights from current and former employees. That's a great point, Michael. To illustrate this, let's say you're considering a tech company. Before you apply, take some time to dive into their website. What's their mission? What kind of work environment do they promote? Are they innovative, focused on teamwork, or maybe community-driven? Are they working on projects that excite you? The more you learn, the better prepared you'll be to tailor your resume, shine in your interview, and ultimately decide if this is the right fit for you. Absolutely, Emily. Additionally, platforms like Glassdoor can provide a realistic picture of the company's culture and work-life balance, helping you make informed decisions. That's excellent advice. Here's a pro tip. How important is personalization in job applications, and how can candidates effectively implement it? Personalization is crucial. Tailoring your application materials to each specific job shows that you're not just mass-applying, but are truly interested in that particular role and company. Mentioning something specific about the company's work or culture in your cover letter, resume, or during the interview indicates that you've done your homework and are genuinely enthusiastic about the opportunity. Speaking of job applications, don't forget about the various job search platforms available to you. Michael, how can job seekers make the most out of platforms like Indeed, Monster, and LinkedIn jobs? Utilizing these platforms effectively can save time and increase your chances of finding relevant opportunities. Use the filtering options to narrow down job listings by location, industry, and job type. Setting up job alerts ensures you're notified as soon as new positions that match your criteria are posted. Now let's talk about social media. You're probably using LinkedIn, right? If not, don't worry, it's never too late to start. Michael, how can job seekers optimize their LinkedIn profiles to attract potential employers? 
LinkedIn is a powerful tool for professional networking. Ensure your profile is complete and up to date with your latest work experience, skills, and any volunteer work. Also, use a professional photo, craft a compelling headline, and write a summary that highlights your skills and experiences. Additionally, engage with content related to your industry, join relevant groups, and connect with professionals in your field. This increases your visibility and opens up networking opportunities. In addition to LinkedIn, how important is it for job seekers to track their job search process, and what tools do you recommend? Staying organized is crucial, especially when managing multiple applications. Using a spreadsheet or an app to keep track of the jobs you've applied to, the companies you've researched, and any follow-ups you've made helps maintain a clear overview of your progress. Speaking of networking, let's delve into something called the hidden job market. Michael, what exactly is the hidden job market, and how can job seekers tap into it? The hidden job market refers to job opportunities that aren't advertised on public job boards. These positions are often filled through referrals, word of mouth, and networking. To tap into this market, job seekers should proactively build and nurture their professional networks, attend industry events, participate in webinars, and seek out informational interviews. So, how do you effectively start building these connections? Any specific strategies you recommend? Start by reaching out to your existing network, friends, family, former colleagues, and let them know you're job hunting. Attend industry-specific events and engage in online forums or professional groups related to your field. Informational interviews are also a great way to learn about different roles and companies while building relationships that can lead to job opportunities. Now, what if you don't have a lot of traditional work experience? How can job seekers leverage non-traditional experiences effectively? Employers today value a wide range of experiences. Volunteer work, side projects, and leadership roles in community organizations can all demonstrate valuable skills and attributes. Focus on the transferable skills you've gained from these experiences, such as teamwork, problem-solving, or project management. Highlighting these skills on your resume and during interviews can make your application stand out, even if your experience isn't strictly traditional. Finally, handling rejection is an inevitable part of the job search process. What advice do you have for job seekers when they face rejection? Rejection can be disheartening, but it's also a valuable learning opportunity. I encourage job seekers to take any feedback they receive and use it to improve their future applications or interviews. Staying persistent and viewing each rejection as a step closer to their ideal job can help maintain motivation and resilience. It's important to stay positive and continue refining your approach based on the lessons learned from each experience. All right, let's wrap things up. Michael. Could you summarize the key takeaways for our listeners today? Of course, a successful job search starts with knowing yourself, your skills, strengths, and what you want. Research employers to find those that match your values and career goals. Leverage social media, especially LinkedIn, to network and build professional connections. Don't hesitate to tap into the hidden job market by proactively networking and building relationships. Every experience, whether paid or not, matters as it demonstrates your skills and value to potential employers. Lastly, stay organized, set specific job search goals, and manage your time wisely to keep motivated and increase your chances of success. Thank you so much, Michael, for sharing your valuable insights today. Thanks for having me, Emily. It was a pleasure. And to our listeners, thanks for tuning in. I hope these tips help you in your job search. Good luck. And remember, you've got this. See you next time on Career Compass.